All right, so this is uh, from Zebulon. So this is the next video I just said. Uh, continue now. So this is Zebulon. Zebulon it said to mean dwell, dwell with me. Or well, this is the consonant which was written in the ancient uh, Hebrew Torah. So now after adding the words, sa sa ba sa. Ali Sabali Iwo Eni Dwell with me Saba well you Z so I'm gonna use Z now Sabali Iwa Eni Saba eh, Saba you know the word Saba is uh, when you chicken lay egg Saba it just means to stay somewhere oh, oh, Saba oh, to rest uh -huh. to rest to to stay somewhere so Sabali Iwa Eni well, let me use that Z. Zabali iwa eni. Zabali iwa eni. So now, from this word, so I look at it. Well, there's a uh, there's a tribe in Nigeria called Baliwa. Baliwa. Now, Zabali iwa eni. Zabali wa. Zabali wa eni. Zabali wa eni. Now, looking at the word Baliwa, and so there are people that bear this. Not just yes. Uh, even the first president in Nigeria is Paliwa. <laughs> yes. And there's a community in Bauchi State. Yes. They are not Hausa people. They have their language. They are very, very different from the Hausa people. Sorry, there's a mosquito around there. I'm trying to, uh, not, allow, not, trying not to allow it to stay on my skin. So, Zabaliwa, any, that is the Baliwa. So, they, they are in Bauchi State. They are called Baliwa people. They are called Baliwa people. So, these people. They are the tribe of Zebulon, the Zebulon. They are descendants from their name, from that name, Zabaliwa, Baliwa, Baliwa. So they are from the tribe of Zebulon. Zebulon, in the Bible, the Zebulon, uh, Zebulon according to the English and uh, modern Hebrew, they call it Zebulon. But according to the uh, our work on the name is Zabaliwa. Uh -huh. You can see that they omitted a lot of you know, some of these like W. They always sure they always omit the W sound. Zabaliwa any that is come and dwell, come and stay uh -huh, with our existence with R. So Zabaliwa. So Baliwa people in Bauchi State, they are from the tribe of Zebulon. So if you know anybody from there. Just to, just go tell them. I pray. I wish to, uh, or transfer. You can share this video and let them see it. So Baliwa people, you are from the tribe of Zebulon. You are from the tribe of Zebulon. You are descendant of Israel. So this is not just a claim again, but this is a fact that is coming out here from the Torah. Now, so many people have been claiming it all this while, but this work is a confirmation. It's a confirmation of every claim. Because actually in the Bible, the Bible says in the book of Daniel that so the restoration of Israel is going to be by name in the books. Those, those whose name are written in the books, and that book is the Torah. So now, in the restor by restoration of the name of the Bible, of the Torah itself to its in the ancient form, so names will be coming out. So these are the names of the descendants of Israel today. So Balewa people, you are you are. Israel, Israelite, you are Oya Sheri Allah, that is who they call Israel this day. Then also Manasseh. Manasseh. So you can see the Balua people is what? Far north of Nigeria. So you can see that. So these people cover the old West Africa. But, uh, well, that is for later stories. Then the people will, the people will call Manasseh. Call. The people who call Manasseh eh, cause to forget. That's the meaning of the name. Sorry for the noise. I'm walking around. There are people around here. So they are brothers. So sorry, they have. So cause to forget. Cause because the child caused him to forget all his father's house, all his pain, and all his past. But now, but let's look at it. This is the consonant. So this is a consonant for the name Manasseh. So after adding vowels, we have Muni 
se eyin mu ni se eyin takis back eh uh -huh. back that is uh, to forget eh uh, se se mean to deny eh uh -huh. to deny mu ni se that is to deny when uh, when you buy word when you say you know, or say that is to deny so now say any that is what to deny his past that is this child made him to war to deny he for, to forget his past that's what actually used in the in the in the bible but here it is actually money say any so that's the way he so that is he was able to deny to forget his past all the father's house and because now having a child now is now comfortable in he became comfortable in egypt it even he did, he did not even go to he did not even go out to look for his father until they came and he, and he saw them so he he, he has forgotten he, he like he denied he want to deny his his answer his father his uh, all his brothers all he went through and he, God established him in Egypt because immediately God established him for those first, uh, for those first, uh, is it the first seven years when they have uh, abundance? He did not go to look. He did not search. He did not desire to see his family before the famine. There was there were years of plenty. In those years of plenty, Joseph did not. So it is not just forget. I think it is the, I can, this Yoruba word coming out that is to money. say who said deny his past is actually right because in those years of plenty he was in charge in those years of plenty he did not seek his father his brothers and well since the mothers is already dead the mother has died so he, he denied them uh, because of what they did to him money say and so the child so if he just forgot his He's here now. He has a child. It's like many Nigerians that are abroad and they, they marry white people and uh, they just nationalize over there and they just forget about their people here in Nigeria. Maybe because of all the terrible and all the sorrowful experience they had in Nigeria. But some did not even have any sorrowful experience. But they just get there, they just, oh, we are, but because of all the troubles in Nigeria. So, money share in. I say money share in. So we have a. Uh, you, see, you see that name we have a community in that is that has a fragment of this name he's saying he's sharing they call them he's saying they call them he's sharing so you can see the name is sharing he's saying so these people these people the sharing people among the Yorubas, they are part they are descendant of the tribe of manasi that are still holding to a fragment of the name of the original name of their father who is the son of we are Sharia Allah. Then let's go to Ephraim. Ephraim. Uh, Call Ephraim in the Bible. It means double fruitful. Double fruitful. So this is the letters we have here. So now, but. Eipa Eri. Iyo. Oma. Oma, that is the, uh, the addition, that is a part of a child. Yes. And somebody staying, somebody addition, somebody that is staying with them. Either Omo Bibi or Omo Odo. It's just Omo. So that's that's that is with them. So a yi pa eri yo omo. Now otoko ko bi omo yo omo akoko. But eri eri means double. Eri, you know, when you have money, when you do business with it and you double it, that is eri. So the one that the extra that is another money is eri. You have money, then extra extra money, the extra money is eri. Like another money that joined that one is eerie but that eerie is true business but now he, he first of all had a child that is a money share and uh, hey he now has another child say a year eerie that is another extra child a year eerie your um that is a year eerie your um but now uh, now what well, surely the same letter uh, that's uh, that is used as why in uh in the ancient hebrew is also the one used for j so that was almost the time uh, you see you see yeshua jesus you see you see argument about the j and y but uh and that is the same thing among the yorubas too 
uh, the Yorubas and their neighbors, Igala, like the Igala. Igala has a lot of Yoruba words. But most of the time, they turn the Y to J. Uh -huh. Like now here, you can see that even the Igala people, they retain the name of God according to the Torah. Now, uh, according to my work, the name of the name of God is Oyo. That is one that brought forth Oyo. Uh -huh. But the Igala people call him o o o Ojo. Uh -huh. Ojo. That is that why they use two J. They, they pronounce it as J. Ojo. So when they say my God is the Igala people call it Ojo me. That is Oyo Oyo me. So they call it Ojo me. So. So it actually shows that the J and the Y argument is something that is not something that just came up uh, by the interpreters. It's something that has been among these Hebrew people. So you can see the Gala people. Would they have a lot of Yoruba in their words because they are actually part of this descent, the this, this same descendant. They are part of Israel, the Oya Shriela. So you're going to see the name Gilgal, uh, the Gilgal son. So, but they call they pronounce the Y as J. And they still keep so many of the words, so uh, the name, even the name of God, which is Oyo, they still keep it, but as Ojo. So I think, uh, so I think, uh, first thing, is, uh, a lot of things, a lot of research will need to be done to when that began. <laughs> but for now, we're still working on this that these communities they should know who they are and stop seeing themselves as descendants of stupid idolaters, uh, uh, idolaters, uh, idolaters. Uh -huh. You know, we are not we are not descendant of people that worship idol. We are descendant of of people that follow the most high God. The one you call Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to the English and the modern Hebrew language. So a yekpa eri, iyo, but the Gala people call this ijo umo, ijo umo. So now let, let's look at this name, pa eri. You can shorten it to query. A yekpiri. Ijo umo. So now, so that brings me to Kweri, Ijo. So the Ijo people and Kweri. You can see these two names <laughs> is attached to the Ijo people. Now, the Ijo, that is Ijo people. Kweri is, Kweri, Kweri is the name of their king. Uh -huh. Kweri is the name of their king. So the king of the Ijo people is called Kweri. Uh, Kweri. And uh, now their name, which is their tribe, the, the modern tribe name, Ijo. So you can see the query and the ijo is put is put together here, bam. So there's no argument. So uh, ijo people, have, ijo people, ijo people, ijo people, the ijos, they are from the tribe of Ephraim. The ijo people and query the are king is what they are descendant of the tribe of Ephraim. And now, uh, this is work on the on Joseph. He will add, he, though this one, uh, Joseph was not a tribe. The name Joseph was called Iad, Manasseh, and Ephraim. So that means the Ishein, Ishein, and Piri Ijo are the same, are from the same ancestral link, from Joseph, then to Jacob. So Eipa Iri. Ijo or Iyo Umo. Then Joseph, Oyo Owa Safun, that is God we give, we, we surely give. God we add. So he, this E there was talking about God. Oyo Owa Safun, that is he will surely give another child. That's when it was. And that's the meaning of Joseph. So now let's go to um, more words, decisive words, yeah. And let's look at the, the name David, beloved relative. Uh, so this is the name, the D W Y D. This is Odu. Now, so in some places, they, they actually they did not use this Y. Just use D W D. So it's Odu Iwa Oyade. So when you don't see the Y, that means Odu Iwade. Odu Iwade. So Odu Iwa Oya. Now, uh, oh, oh, now this uh, Oya. Sorry, I prefer. So Odu Iwa Oya. De. 
So this Oya, remember the short name of Jacob, the Oya. The first name, oh yeah, that, that means Jacob was commonly called, instead of calling the old name. That means what we do today, when it's somebody is Ola the Pupua and you start calling him Ola, 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 it's not just with you, it has been since. So, oh yeah, he call him oh yeah, that means the, the, the common name of Jacob is oh yeah. It's also that why the, uh, the angel that fought with him call him oh yeah, Sharia, like this, oh yeah, oh yeah, Sheri, Allah. So his name is the common name is Oya. So Odu Iwa Oya, that is the, the love existence of uh, Oya. Uh -huh. So that is a beloved relative. So linking the name or into Oya, make him a relative. But they are also what they are descendants of Jacob. So they are saying Odu Iwa Oya De, that is the beloved one of Jacob, the beloved one of Oya Shariala, the beloved one of Israel has come. So that's why it's a uh, Beloved relative came in, Udu Iwa Uyade, and that is the name that was shortened to Udua. So the name Udua Udua today is actually the name of David, and that's why the Yoruba celebrate Udua. Udua is, is no god, it's not a god, it's not this, don't mind this, all the stupidity, the stupid idolatry mentality. Udua is David, and he was a celebrated king. He was the greatest king in Israel, apart from his, his son, too, which is a we are, we are going to see the name of Solomon too. The second name of Solomon, you're going to see that too. So, so Odua. So it's uh, actually about talking about King David. They say so the way Yoruba celebrate Odua today shows how Israel actually celebrate David. The see way they celebrate David. So it is David, the king of Israel, that they call Oduiwa Oyade, which is Odua, shortened to Odua, and that is why. Remember the story I told you about the tribe of uh, the Ibini people saying Odua, they are not descendants of Odua. Yes, Odua is not, is not, uh, did not, uh, it's not ancestral to all these tribes. All these tribes, they have, they, they were, they have long gone, they were long dead before, before Odui, while Yadde was born, before the time of David. So they were long dead and long gone. They were, his, they were fathers to David. Yeah, so Ibini, the one who bear the name Ibini, is 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 <laughs> is the younger brother of the father, 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 father of Odua. So Odua cannot be the father of Ibini. Mm -mm, never. Odua is David. So and that is why uh, those that are clamoring for Odua nation, mm -mm, Odua can never be. Odua can never. Be. Now even Odua is not he is not as great as uh, Iwo. Iwo is more than Odua. Owu is more than Odua. Odua is just one of the sons, descendant of Judah, Owu. So Odua nation is a zero. The nation, the name that bind all these people together is Oya Sheri Allah. That is the name of which is called Israel according to your Bible today. But according to the ancient Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, which is the ancient Yoruba language, is Oya. Sheriala, that's why they call Oya Odoi. So the name was named after him. So they named their river, their nation too, after him. So the other part is, the upper part is Oke Oya. So that means the down part will be Isale Oya. <laughs> All right, let's just go. So, uh, also then, the same effect, the same effect that what happened to the name of uh, Levi, the Ile uh, Ileiwa, Ileiwaoya, that now turn him, that turn the name to uh, uh, Ileife. Also happen here. This Y and uh, W and Y, Iwa Oya. But this is Iwa Oya. But the same thing here, he turn it to Ife. That is Odu Ife, Odu Ife De, Odu Ife De. So that's why we see them calling the same. Uh, Odua, uh, so, uh, so all these words are actually from the Torah, and from Odua to Odufe is actually from the Torah. You can see how the Torah is like uh, mathematically, uh, you know, like uh, as even working uh, mathematics that is this and this equal to this, and is oh it was equal to it in Ile uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is equal to it in Odu Iwa, Odu Iwa, yeah. So, that is the 
where the name David, David, and Levi comes in. Now, I told you about the name of man. So the name of uh, King Solomon, Jed Jedidiah, the name that was called Jedidiah in our English Bible, uh, according to the modern Hebrew. Well, beloved of God. So you know, hey, just like beloved, Odu. So the name is always Odu here. Yeah? So let's see. So this is actually the actual name. This in, in the full sentence. Eyi Eda Uyo Odu. Uyo A, beloved of God. Now, the name of God is Uyo A, the one that brought forth. Uyo A, and into Yo, and into Yo, and into Yo A. Uyo A, that is the name of God. That is one that brought forth. Uyo A. Then, Eyi, that is this one. Eda Uyo Odu. Okay, somebody, a uh, being of, uh, being that is beloved. A creature that is beloved of Uyo A, that is God. Eyi Eda Uyo Odu or Eda Uya Odu, the one that become Odu. Uyo A. Eyi Eda Yo. I want to remove this O now. Eyi Eda Yo Odu. Uyo A. So that is the O, the full sentence of the name. But to shorten the name, the two major factors is Eda Odu. That is Eda Odu. Uyo A. Eda Odu. But the sentence is Eyi Eda. Oyo Odu, Oyoa. So, but is to simplify the name, Eda Odu, Oyoa. Now, that is where we get the name. That all this Daudu, 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 and uh, even the. Uh, so anyway, you see people saying Daudu. Uh -huh. They are actually talking about the name of Solomon. That is not the name of David. So the one we call David is Odua, an actual name. It is this name, the second name of Solomon. The name, the name that was given to him by the prophets. The name that was given to him by the prophet. Uh -huh. That this one is beloved of God. Eda Odu Uyoa, and that is why we have the name Eda Daudu Daudu. You remember I was saying Eda Odu Ilewo Daudu. That is the beloved of your house. So that 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 means Eda. That is the beloved. One that is God beloved. So Solomon is beloved of God in the house of David. So Eda Odu Uyoa. So Daudu is talking about the beloved one. So you can see Odua, Odua, David, then Eda Odu Uyoha, that is Solomon. And also there was a queen that also bear the same similar name. A queen in the family of David. Now in the one of the wives of the sons of the uh, one of the king in the in the line of David. Uh, so and the name of the queen is Jed, Jedida. They call her Jedida in the English and Hebrew. So, uh, on working on the name, it means beloved female. The name actually Iyi Eda Uyo Odu. E A. Iyi Eda Uyo Odu. Iha. The, the, the Iha here is the word for female. So now, when you, when you ask, when we are describing the creation, we say Egun Iha. That is side. So actually, the name for female, one of the names for females in the ancient Hebrew Bible, Torah, is Iha. So that's actually the name for female. So in this name now, so you can see in the name of Solomon, Jedidiah, we have this Ihi Eda Uyo Odu. So this Iha is actually the one that separate this name from the name of Solomon and make it female Iha, which is a side. Uh -huh. So that this name Iha is an ancient word for female. So it's not and it is used here even in the Torah. So it is not just used in uh, Yoruba. This Yoruba that are, used, Yoruba that are using the word Iha. So you can see Ihi Eda O Eda Uyo Odu Iha. That is a beloved female. Iha. So now let's remove this all this sentence, the sentencing garnishing uh, format. This is Eda Odu. Eda Odu Iha. Eda Odu Iha. Eda Odu Iha. Now you can see. So now, so 
Odu Iwa. Oyade, that is David. Oduwa. That is the we sound. Oduwa. Solomon is Eda. Eda Odu. Oyoa, which is uh, attached to God. Oyoa. But this queen is Eda Odu Iha. So, which can be shortened to Eda Odu Ha. Eda Odu Ha. Eda Odu Ha. So, uh, the name Odu Odu Ha. Odua is not the name of is not the name of David. That is another that means it shows that when you are talking Odua, you are talking of somebody Odua, which is we sound. When you are saying Oduha, which is the H sound, you are talking of another person entirely. But the Yoruba speaker did not even know. Did they even know who is Odua? They don't know anything. They're just saying what they just in every language, just Odua. Now they call it Odua. Eh? Odua. Oh, they just done things so now but here this ancient document is actually bringing out everything that we have Odu we have Eda Odu Oyoa that is Solomon here we have Eda Oduha which is beloved female Eda Oduha so so this name be Odua here is what we call the uh, So we can see Odua, and that's why you see. I think there's a one of these people from the south south that are here bearing the name Odua. Odua, there's a female like that. One of these, one of these uh, serving ministers in Nigeria is going to call Odua. Odua. So, so you can see all these names, all these people. They are just bearing names. All they are a lot of linkages with the with the words, the Yoruba words that are coming from the Torah, which shows that all these people. Are descendants of the house of Israel. Now, I was I talked about the priest the other time. So the priest, it means uh, one officiating, that is the one that is standing in front for the rest. Now, this is the consonant K H N. So it is Iko Oni Iko. That is uh, Iko is an uh, entonation. One that is standing out representative. Uh -huh. So is Iko Oni. Iko Oni, that is the name for priest. So Iko Oni. So uh, the one this one that you they produce the title to Ife. So there's not like Iko Oni of Ife. It is Iko Oni of the whole house of Jacob. So it is Iko Oni and not Oni. So that is just a short form. The Oni just a short form. So that position is never and then should never be turned. It's not a king. It's not a king. Even it's never a king in Israel. It's a priest over the house. Before they started having king, they, has, or they have always been a priest. So the position of a priest even supersede, supersede, uh -huh, spiritually supersede the place of a king. So it's not only of Ife, it's only of the old Oya Shariala. And also I mentioned about something about Gilgal, yes. Gilgal means turning point. Uh -huh. It is where they, they go to they go to Gilgal and then from there they enter to the promised land. Is it is an Igunle Igun Allah Igunle Igun Allah. So it's talking about uh, uh, where where they set to and they launch where they launch into their to the promised land. Igunle. Igun Allah, that is, they said to to go and to to climb to the promised land, and the land has already they've already divided the land, uh -huh. so they said to Agiga, the land was divided, and then they move up, they move up into the very into their various portion, fighting and possessing the lands. So what they call Giga in Bible is turning point, that is where they come in. So and it also means that like a rolling point, uh -huh. where they come there and then go up. Come and go up, like uh, that's really come down, go up, uh -huh. something uh -huh. down and up. So they come down, they settle down, and they go up. That is rule. Uh -huh. So igunle igunala. So now, so the people that are called Igala today are descendants are descendant of the ancient people of Gilgal. I, that is the short name is Igunala. And even in the story of the West Africa, there's so, no the story uh, about the uh, Oromia. When Oromia came, it was supposed to go to a war. The Oromia had this understanding. So he, when he came back and he established himself all around, he did not want to sit down. He wanted to go back to what? To Yemen. 
they want to go back to the Middle East to go and repossess the land. All those land where they were defeated in the <laughs> in the Middle East. So they were they want to go there, but he was not allowed to go. They asked him to to reign over the, the people here. The, all the nation, the Benin people, where he put his sons and everything. So Romain was supposed to reign over here. And those people that went for that journey, they were called Igbo Allah. Hey. So they are the Igbo Allah. And that place, it is this place where they call the Gala people are today. That is where they moved from. And some years later, in the story, in the history of Ethiopia, there are some people called Oromo. They call them Oromo. They call them Oromia, which is close to Oromia. They call them Oromia. They call them Oromo. And they also call them uh, Igala. Something like that. Igala. And they said their war cry when they go to Batu is uh, this Igala, Igala, Gala, 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 which is actually Igala. That is climb. That is a uh, go back that you know go and possess the land go and possess your portion possessing your portion Igun Allah that is to climb the portion so that is a war cry so though they though they could not proceed further than Ethiopia they could not proceed further than Ethiopia but they were established in Ethiopia so their war cry is Igun Allah and they call themselves Oromia so now you can see Oromia Oromia then Igala Igun Allah so it is. The same people that left from some of the some of them that left from Igala here. Yeah. So the war that Oromia was supposed to go to, that he was not allowed to go. Some people actually, so he was supposed to. I think the Oromia is uh, from the line of is from the Davidic lineage. So he was supposed to rule the kingdom here. Yeah. So let them go, uh -huh. go to war so that he can be supplying, reinforcing them from here. Yeah. But they could not proceed beyond uh, Ethiopia. They go to Ethiopia. They could not really prevail. They were established and they become very strong in Ethiopia. And one of those things is that the same pillar that they have an uh, obelisk for Oromia here. These people in uh, Ethiopia, these Oromia people, they have a lot of obelisk uh -huh. to show that the same practice, what was done for Oromia here, the obelisk, the same was done for, they do the same thing for their leaders that went to that war uh, and that died. So, so they have a lot of obelix there too to show that at that particular time it's a time of obelix raining. So they are just so the same people, these Igala people, uh, the same name Oromia Igala. Then also here to Oromia War, and then the mission if it is to to possess the promised land, to possess their portion back in the Middle East. So the Giga people, the Igala people, actually is from the name Igunle Igunala. So, and that is why you see the Igala people and the Yoruba people, most of their words, they have the same many words. But the Yoruba people will say Igala people are speaking their language. Igala people will say Yorubas are the ones speaking their language. But what happens is that these people are just the same people, not who are lost into the, because of the cause of idolatry that, uh, that actually came upon them. Then I put two, two words here called extra, apart from the some of these community and then tribes. Anywhere you see carved image or bruising kind of uh, all those image in a uh, idol talking about idolatry in the Old Testament, the consonant that was used is this F S L. This F S L, and it actually means a carving to 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 beautify by carving, to add value by carving. Means carving to add value to something by carving it. So, which is a a a fa she ola. That is, you carve it. No, just like you no know, when the, when God was talking to the <laughs> children of Israel, that you you went to the bush, you cut the wood. Part of it you use it to burn to cook. Then part of it you now carved it to add value to it. You now carve a shape out of it to add value to it. You now started buying down to the shape that you carve out of it. Uh -huh. So anyway, you see those kind of carved image is what ifa she ola. That is the word ifa she ola ifa ifa carvings. You carve something. You carve something to add value to it. Ifa she ola. So actually, so that is this. This seems to be the word of ifa. This ifa religion. 
So because Ifa Sheola, that is the name of the the the, 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 the grievous sin of the children of Israel. They worship Ifa Sheola, that is something that was carved to add value to images that was carved. It's Ifa Sheola. And and if you look at this name, the word is exactly sounding like Fa Sheola. Uh -huh. Fa Sheola, one Fa, that is Sheola. That is, uh -huh. one Fa Sheola, that is Ifa Sheola. But the statement coming out is a fasciola, which is the same thing as fasciola. That is, you carve something to make it to 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 make to make it have value. Uh -huh. There are some beautiful carvings today, not idolatry, not the one worshiping. That are because of their beauty, people pay a lot of huge amount of money for them. That is a fasciola, so it become worthy, it become wealth. A fasciola. So, so that's a fasciola. So that ifa, that ifa. If I today it shows that it is what worshiping it is image worshiping, which which for which God is against the house of Israel. So from that time of the Bible that they have been worshiping Ifa Sheola Ifa Sheola, they are still doing it today. That Ifa to so that Ifa worship is uh, they are they to they are descendant of people worshiping idol in Israel. They are still here too. So just like we have the name of cities and. And then on uh, tribes, and then uh, so we have the those idolatry those that are worshiping Ifa today, they are descendants of people that are worshiping Ifa then that brought curse upon the house or upon Israel. So they are still among us today, and they are still worshiping the Ifa. And we wonder why the Fulani are always encroaching and taking, and they've almost ruling a major part of the house of Israel. Uh, to this time now, the, uh, they are still moving again, and everybody is afraid. Eh? People that you are not supposed to be afraid of, people that should be afraid of you, or well, because of your stupid Ifa Sheola. Now, the, the Ifa that did not take, that did not divide you from Fulani, the Ifa did not divide you from the white, did not save you from the white men when they came. But the stupidity of the house of descendant of Jacob is an idolatry. So you see, so that is Ifa Sheola too is here. So Ifa people, this is who you are. You are descendant of people that brought curse upon the house of Jacob. And you are still bringing curse today like your fathers. So you see, you are still doing the same thing that they did. Uh, also, this word I got from the, uh, this one from the Dead Sea Scroll, Dead Sea Scroll, the Apostle, the, the word Apostle. And this is the consonant. So after working on it, we have I, Osha. Osha, Ile, Yo, Ekoyomo. So Apostles are called the Hebrew name for apostles during their time because they were Hebrew people, so they called them Osha. So that means the word Osha is actually leaders. Is uh, that case the choosing unto Osha because Moses himself was called Moshe. Moshe is not Moses like uh, in the Bible is Moshe. So the girl says uh, Moshe. That case uh, she was he was picked selected like picked from the water. So he Osha. Ele yo e koyomo that is leaders the chosen that teach uh -huh. the leaders that, that can teach so they are it's not, I mean actually in the time of the apostles it's not all leader that can teach that is why even Saul himself which is called Paul when he started teaching he has to take what he is teaching to to receive to go he has to take it to the uh, to these apostles Osha ele yo e koyomo so that they can confirm. And say that whether he's teaching right or wrong. So God they are Osha, Ile, Yo and Koyomo. So apostle, those that are bearing, bearing the name apostle, you are bearing the name Osha. Actually, Osha means chosen. <laughs> chosen, just simple word, chosen. But because of the idolatry has bastardized everything. We turn everything to idols. And this the, 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 the cause of God has never departed from them. But I believe this things coming out now is just because God has a purpose and God has an agenda for this time to end all this so that we're able to gain our identity, to be able to put aside and put away all this idolatry and to also put away the fullness and all their stupidity they've done so far and I think they've done so much. So but one thing is, the first thing is that we have ourselves, we have to deal with all this idolatry first. You have to accept who you are deal with the idolatry, accept the creator of heaven and the earth, and then, and then you can receive his strength, and then you'll be able to say you want to be who you are, the sons of Jacob, Oya Sheri Allah, that is, you prevail, first you have to prevail with God, so you have to prevail with the creator, and not your stupid Shungu, 
and not into all these idols. You, 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 you don't prevail with all those things. You fail with them. The white man, damn, all of them, the Portuguese came. The stupidity enough, we were even killing ourselves and selling ourselves as slaves. <laughs> of course, it is the course, it is written in the scripture that they will, yeah, uh, uh, Ephraim, they will fight Manasseh, they will be fighting each other. Stupidity. And that is the cause, that is the cause of idolatry. And still, still here today, they're still worshipping, they're still worshipping idols. Hmm? Even Muhammad, in all his writing, he said that uh, when his followers, when they are confused about any teaching, they should go to what? They should go to the children of Israel. They should come to us. But we ourselves, we have lost our identity. Now, those that are supposed to come to us for teaching are now coming. They are the ones that now conquered us because of idolatry. Worshipping the dead instead of worshipping the creator of the heaven and heart. So now let's see identification of the creator. This is the name of uh, all the names that were used for God in the Torah. Oh, I'm looking for them. Now, this is when God introduced himself to Moses. So these are the letters. So I say, Eyi Eyi Oyoha Eyi Ashe Iri. Eyi Eyi Oyoha Eyi Ashe Iri. That is one who brought forth all that is seen, all that we can see, all that is visible. Eyi Eyi Oyoha Eyi Ashe Iri. So that is the name with which God introduced himself unto Moses. Then, in other parts throughout the Old Testament, uh, all names that were translated as God, sometimes ordinary Y, ordinary letter Y, is taken as God. Some places, YH is taken as God. In some places, YW is taken as what? God, which is the creator. And then, YHWH, which is the tetragonal thing that we do celebrate so much. Also, yes. And all these names are supposed to mean the same thing. Yeah, they are supposed to mean the same thing. They, they, of course, they are, they, they are supposed to mean the same thing. That is God. They are talking about Him, the Creator. So, by the help of the Holy Spirit and by the hand of God upon me. So, these are the workings upon the names. So, where it was ordinary, why? It is Oyo. Oyo means somebody that brought forth. And even today, Yoruba will say, when they are trying to eulogize God, the creator, not their stupid idols. Uyo riri jade Latino Iri. Uyo riri jade when it was Yoriri. So you should remember what I said about the name God introduced with himself to David to Moses. E yi e yi uyo a e yi ashe iri. So you will back today say uyo riri jade nino Iri. Uyo riri that means and it was your all that is seen. Uyo riri who the one who brought that or brought uh, things that are seen. So So that is uh, then the ordinary why is Oyo, Oyo. That is still talking about the same thing. It's talking about. So that is the smallest Oyo. That is a creator. Then the Y H where so many people call Ja. What is it? Y H or J H? So you call Ja Ja Ja. So if the Y H is Ja. Then or yeah, <laughs> so what are we going to call the ordinary why? Are we going to say <laughs> why? How to go look, going to call God why? Yeah, call God. Whereas letter, that's letter name. So uh, what we call it? What we just call ye the ye sound ye because that sound is ye. So we just say ye. Does God mean ye? Letter ye is not God, but the ordinary why is uyo. Send the y h is uyo a. Oh, you are like the one who brought forth. That is a more complex sentence uh -huh, for the name. Uh, then the Y, there's a way we have a the Y W. Oyo Iwa. One who brought forth existence. You see, it's talking about the same thing. Oyo. Oyoha. But Oyo and the Oyo Iwa. That is they are more com they are more explanatory. They are more more robust word. Uh -huh. Oyo, that is the creator. So inventors, inventors too uh, can be called Oyo. Uh -huh. It's like someone that invaders of the Oyo, but Oyo Iwa, nobody can be that. That is one who brought existence. That one, no, you can't share that. Every, also only uh, that is more definite. Oyo Iwa is more definite name. Uh -huh. Oyo, I mean the one who brought forth. One who brought forth. Then the last name, Oyo Iyi Iwa, is that more like a more sentence fully packaged. Oyo Iyi Iwa. 
excuse me, let's see time again four to five minutes. So I think I'd like to stop here. So next uh, is gonna be on the the journey from so we'll be talking about it. most of those uh, the, uh, things that are, uh, that seems like a digression that I was just cutting them off and saying no 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 we're not doing that we're doing that later. I think we'll be doing them in the uh, in the next uh, video recording in the name of the name of the creator Uyoiwa by the grace of Uyoiwa. That's the next video. But thank you for listening the, to the first video, this, this uh, teaching on the house of Jacob, the tribes. So thank you very much. I really appreciate you. And thank you. So this is Yoruba Torah Research Institute. So you can be a partner. You can support this work. So this is how you can, so you can reach us if you're within Nigeria. There are so many people from Nigeria. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not very easy. They, they, but well, we have some people that have been really be of great help and assistance this, this work. So I say thank you. And I say, Ibu Iriku Uyoiwa. We continue to abide with you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Uyo Awashua. Let's call the real name, yeah. For Jesus is Uyo Awashua. That is God, the Creator, has come to restore us. Shoot to restore. So Uyo Awashua. So in the name of Uyo Awashua. So Ibu Iriku Uyoiwa. We continue to abide with you. So you can reach us through these accounts, Sterling Banks, you can see the number, you see the name. This is the name to use when you are dealing with Sterling Bank. But if you are from outside Nigeria, say you can send to us. No matter what you want to send, no matter the currency, just send to us. So this is the name to use if you want to be a partner, you want to partner, you want to support this work. Either MoneyGram, you use Western Union. Well, you can reach us. Thank you very, 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 very much. And uh, with the, we are getting to another phase with this teaching now. So I would like you to share this work. I want to inspire this particular teaching. I'd like you to share to all your contacts, uh, all your contacts, everyone around you. If you know, just keep on sharing, invite people, send it, share it to people, let them come and see, let them, let them come and listen to this. Because one thing is, yeah, I want to see people say, no, this is not, this is not right. <laughs> and I, and I, uh, 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 yes, I want people to come, I want a lot of people to come into this and let them come and disprove this work. Yes, let them come, let them come and bring their facts, their reasons why this is cannot be, this is not true and this cannot be true. So please, so share it, share it, share it, share it, share it. I say again, share it. So thank you very, 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 very much. The Lord bless you. In, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Oyo Awashua, Amen. Thank you.